my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay f calm! Wait, 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 wait! Oh, Everybody just f calm down! Help! Here! Oh! Take my hand! Ah! Come on! <laughs> You're gonna fall unless you take my hand! No! Give me your other hand! Oh, my other hand isn't strong enough! You take my little hand! No! Get it away from me! Break it! Break my hand! No. They sure work hard, don't they, Bonnie? Yeah. I hate to see them work so hard. Yeah, me too. Um, let's go around back where we can't see them. If you have a milkshake and I have a straw, there it is. That's a straw. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up! Don't bully me! Who are these guys anyway? Nazis. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. You like comic books? The originals were simple. The modern ones are different. We just repackage it with a bunch of other shit that didn't sell, and we put them in a pile. Dog shit. Hey, look, if you don't stop gawking at me and get the hell out of here, I'm gonna kick your ass, okay? Hey, haven't you ever heard the phrase, the customer's always right? Let me tell you something. Give you a little secret, okay? The customer's always an asshole. Fine. I'll do it myself. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's, What's the procedure, everyone? Calm? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait! wait. Everybody just calm down! And here we go. Show me the money. You have meddled with the primal forces of nature, and I won't have it! I'm prepared to make a full report. These men are consummate snowball artists. Everything was fine with our system until the power was shut off by Dickless here. Is this true? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. Well, that's what I heard. Good morning, Vietnam! I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Can you hear me at all? Hello? Where's my eyebrow? Where's my eyebrow? So the question is, how long is a giant earthworm? Well, it's not an easy question to answer. The fact of the matter is, they're rather delicate creatures, and they break. <laughs> hey, what about me? I'm gonna get some too, innit? Who brought this guy along? I was stepped over! That's the way Pop wanted it. It ain't the way I wanted it! I can handle things, I'm smart! Not like everybody says! Like dumb, I'm smart, and I want respect! You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! When things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done! <laughs> Individually, we are weak, like a single twig! But as a bundle, we form a mighty fat. What's with the random clips? Us genuine comics, Dave Brink. Random? Are you kidding me? That's the history of our movement here. That's the history of Comics Gate in uh, in movie form. How are you all going today, tonight, whatever the hell it is? Probably early morning for you all. Important business uh, on the agenda tonight. We ask the question, where is Rob Arnold? He's not here. He hasn't really given any excuse uh, why he's not here. But I've been doing a little investigating. I think I have a solid theory. I'll, uh, I'll let you guys in on it. And uh, you can let me know uh, how accurate I am. KSS says, where's Rob? We demand Rob. 
Okay, I demand. Yeah, I don't know if anyone else is demanding Rob. <laughs> Maybe some are, but we at least want to know what's happened to him. We want to we want to know if he's okay. And we'll also be cracking wide open hashtag Perspective Gate, which is um which is the latest scandal to hit the Comics Gate news waves. The Voyager demands Camel. I don't know if Camel is up. I think Camel might be sleeping. I don't know, but let's say hello to you lovely people here. Obviously, this is my second stream for the day. Um, well done to uh, Maddie Fowler. Oh, and happy 4th as well. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Hope you're uh, able to celebrate and uh, reflect and, and then get some sleep. Because I hear some cities, are like, they sound like war zones out there with all those fireworks. I'm going to say hello to Arthur Lyon, Noren Rad. There's Voyager, there's Skip, there's American Comics, there's Darren Wagner. He says, coom, coom, coom. Hail, Mo Biggs. Who else we got in here? We got uh, Jeremy. He's just uh, finished up his stream. We went from here to Jeremy's and then uh, back again. Um, other than that, it's been a pretty slow day on the YouTubes. Uh, Ethan's uploaded some uh, videos, I believe. He's gone on the war path on behalf of... Uh, on behalf of uh, Rainy, well, maybe he's laying the he's getting the artillery set up. It hasn't started the barrage yet, but it could come. Skip Edwards asked, "Do we really need another Rob? We already have one that draws good." But Mo Big says both Robs are exceptionally slow in their own distinct ways. <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true. Who else we got in here? Did I say hello to Sheev? I'll say hello again. We've got uh, Mr. Monkey Boy. We've got Nolan Lockhart. Hello, good sir. Tip my hat to the Robin Hood of Comics Gate. Perth Comics says Gatorade, and he spells it like gay. I like that. Linkovich Chomosky is here. Who else is here? Schneel is here. Hello, darling. D, in Rob, we, we trust. In Rob? Really? That's a, that is a, you put a, you're a very trusting individual, sir. That's a lot of faith in one Rob Hawked, strange man. Uh, Maiden Hell says, Hal Chat, Hal Bancroft. Well, how, how are you, Maiden Chat? I see Sumo. I see Ryan. Who else do I see? I see SDA. I see Ken Jack Ban. I see Voyager. Hail the random clips. Not random. They tell a story. They tell a story of our history, of where we've been. And I just found out who is that guy who's selling, who's yelling, I was looked over. I was passed over. I was supposed to inherit something, but I didn't. I can do things. I'm smart. I'm not going to say who that could be, but I just had a revelation. It's been revealed. They have revealed themselves after all this time. I thought it just represented generic um butt hurt comics ex comic skater but uh yeah it can i think it might be a little bit more specific uh i can't say hello to everyone because you do already have 50 people in i will say a big hail to um maddie fowler though and congratulations my friend you crushed it tonight i was saying in jeremy's chat remember how we we went crazy when Star Circuit reached three and a half thousand on its launch day, and we were like, What? And now Maddie Fowler, what is he on? Let's have a look. Ten thousand dollar dues, 118 backers, seven thousand two hundred and ninety-five dollars raised. And we're only just getting started. Well, hail Nolan Lockhart. There he is again. He flies in his merry men, he swings in through the trees and gifts five memberships. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, I can't highlight it because it's stupid stream yards, but thank you, man. And I see Ken Jack Ben, Nicotronus, Nicholas Gear, Hobby Helix. Welcome. And Dunringle have all been granted memberships, gifted by the great Nolan Lockhart. Thank you so much. That is so awesome, man. I mean, this whole thing about gifting memberships, I don't know if you just saw, I tweeted out, I got four copyright claims <laughs> on the launch stream. Four. That might be some kind of new record for me. Like two, one is normal. Two sometimes happens. Three 
maybe it's happened before, but four? Four in one stream? Does it assign an auto? No, it you have to click on it. So if, if you see if, even a, if you're ever in a chat and you see someone gifts members, you got to click on it quick because people are gonna snap them up. Uh, and you get you get free membership for a month, which gives you access to all the emojis. Um, I try to put up a new secret page a week. I don't always succeed, depending on how busy uh, Rod is. Not Rob. Rod. Uh, and if I have nothing from Rod, I'll try and put up something that I've been working on. Uh, you guys are literally paying his page rate. And you're also keeping the lights on in the cottage. That's like, as I was saying, like with these copyright claims, there's no chance of monetization. Monetization is nothing for a channel this size. It's like, it's not even worth it. But the fact that the fact that generous uh, members of the community out there can gift memberships now is so, uh, it's awesome. I mean, Camel got like 30 or 40 memberships the other night. It was amazing. No more grumpy moon. Uh, Mortal V says, you're gay. I'm lurking bank. I'm going to be lurking bankrupt. I, I accept. Thank you, Model B, for letting me know both that I am gay and uh, and that you'll be lurking. There you go. Brian Johnson's letting everyone know. Jeremy's reminding us you got to feel the rod. Yeah, come in, become a member, feel the rod, see how you like it, get a feel of it. You know, poke and prod. Jim Cox says it auto assigns if the person has that set our account set up to accept gift memberships. I didn't know that. I I apologize. I'm speaking out of turn. I was asleep the other night when D get well, then there you go. I was speaking out of turn. Everyone, make sure you can accept memberships. He said, feed the rod, Bancroft. Get your mind out of the gutter. Did he? <laughs> He did say feed the rod. Yeah. Oh, Maiden Hell. New Super Bogan. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're getting close to 100 now, which is incredible. Um, I like to be able to pay Rod on time, even before time, because I know he's good for it, you know. If Rod needs a little advance on a couple of pages, I'm I'm very happy to give it to him. Uh, to Rod, that is. And you guys make that all work. All right. What's going on? Where is Rob Arnold? Where is he? It's the question you've all been asking uh, this whole day. I know you have. You're just sitting there rocking in your chairs. Welcome, Maiden Hell, says Lord Jeremy. Yes, indeed, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. A super bogan. We're all bogans, but some of us are more bogan than others. They're super bogans. We started getting into it last night when I was sharing this art from Corey Barton. It's a new direction for Corey. It's clearer. Presumably he can do it faster. Uh, I much prefer it. I'm never, I was never a fan of the heavy rendering all the cross hatching, but on top of all that, let's take a look. I mean, he is, he's exploring every cavern climbing every mountain <laughs> and he's taking it to the limit and every nook and cranny that exists out there uh he's really he's really pushing boundaries Corey, these days and if we know rod rob sorry oh, nearly screwed that up if we know rob and we do know rob we've gotten to know rob this level of uh this level of TNA is, I mean, it's, <laughs> James says he's exploring his sexuality. It's beyond the pale. I mean, it is too, I don't know if you know this, like if you give a biscuit to a, to a, like a kid, a young kid, a baby, as long as they have teeth, obviously, they're just, it's like too much of them. A baby, it's like, it's like uh, sugar and fat and butter and everything that a baby craves rolled into one little object and you just see their eyes light up and they become crazy oh you know you guys you guys don't call them biscuits i guess like cookies you call it a cookie we call it a biscuit here in australia 
this is n- not a biscuit. No, not not like that kind of biscuit. I just realized you guys are like you have another a different kind of biscuit. Uh, this is this is the cookie for Rob. I mean, he can't see this and not just like he's he's going wild. He's like a wild man. He's like Enkidu in the in the jungle. Uh, so ever since Corey, ever since Corey posted this, we haven't seen Rob anywhere. Disappeared. You have to risk it to get the biscuit, says Bancroft. <laughs> and Sumo says Bancroft probably eats crumpets too. I love crumpets. They're not very good for you though, but I do love a crumpet, buttery crumpet. You make it, you put lay on the butter so thick that it drips through to the bottom. Oh. Yeah, love it. Love it. But anyway, speaking of love, um, get over it has also he's he's taken it to the next level. Like he's shown that look, the piece that I've got here, it lines up with Corey Barton's piece. We've got Rob Arnold just drenched, doused, some might say, in this anonymous unidentified viscous fluid this goop he's rising out of some uh, pit and there's some uh undecipherable script written all over the place all over the pillars all over the walls he uh, get over it thinks that might be sumo thori and mobig's missed chats <laughs> they missed jokes over the years Marsupial Gamer asks, is it Vegemite? Now, now that is a catacomb. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. If I scroll down here, um, people people are wondering. I said here, my only hope for when Rob emerges from his sabbatical is that we'll be able to recognize some semblance of the man we knew before Corey dropped these scandalous temptations on his lap. Someone asked, who was it? Was it, was it Stugel? Where was it? I I hate how in Twitter you have to go searching for things. Someone asked whether or not Rob had seen it. He absolutely has. I retweeted it somewhere. I can't remember where it is. But anyway, there's evidence out there that Rob has absolutely seen these pieces. He's fully aware of them. And that's my contention. I'm going to back it up with a little bit of extra evidence. Australia tackles latest supply chain kink, missing pallets. Okay, that seems, you know pretty reasonable there's there's supply chain issues all over the world right now what happens if i search gatorade we take into this uh pallet pallet gate did you see that it's all starting to come together um coca-cola said on wednesday it was facing tight supplies of cans while its rival PepsiCo flagged difficulties in securing bottles for its Gatorade sports drink. Now, why is that relevant? Why is that relevant? Well, why do people drink Gatorade? Why do people drink these electrolyte fuel drinks to get there? Because they're dehydrated. To get their to get their hydration levels up quick, they're at dangerous levels. They've been partaking in an activity. You could even say overindulging in an activity where they're losing copious amounts of fluid. You see, you see where I'm going here. You see what I'm saying. And now all of a sudden, Australia has a shortage of Gatorade bottles. We already know, and this is a fact. I guess he 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 bragged about this, that Rob has brought ha, Rob has bought up all of the bags and boards in Australia. He did that. He literally did that. You can't get them in Australia anymore because he bought them all. He went to every single site that stocks bags and boards in Australia, and bought them. 
And now Rob disappears. Corey puts out this, this uh, fap gate, coom gate material. Rob disappears for like four days. And all of a sudden you can't get Gatorade anymore. You tell me. <laughs> D says he's fucking like a jackhammer. Well, you would think so. You really think his wife is going to allow him to have pictures of uh, Corey's art up on the bedroom wall? This is more of a alone time thing, I'm thinking. Henry Beamer says he's just cornering the market. He's smart. Now Rob is the master. I'm cracking this shit wide open. I'm like, uh, I'm like hard copy. Hold on a sec. I've even, I've even got a video from earlier. This is what, this is what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> Mo says, I heard Rob fucks more like a solar powered jackhammer. <laughs> Or a baby chainsaw, as it were. KSS said, Rob, come to the point of needing Gatorade. How's the lotion situation in Australia? I don't know about the lotion situation. But it doesn't stop with Gatorade. Look at this. This is actually affecting my life. I don't drink Gatorade. I don't need it. I keep a healthy balance of fluids in my body. I'm good with black tea check this out this affects me because we just got we just had our whole family had the flu this this week and look how rob's screwing with us now now there's a 2022 tissue shortage it might be time to bring back the handkerchief you think this is a joke this is like this is two weeks ago he's been he's been priming for this getting ready for it according to woolworths it's primarily because of the flu season no no, it's not. We know what it's, we know why it's happening. It's Rob Arnold. It's Fapgate. <laughs> Jesus, Rob, says Suma. I know, right? He's got all the Gatorade. He's got all the tea. I haven't looked into it. He's probably, there's probably a lotion shortage. I'm going to Google it right now. Australia. Lotion shortage. Hmm. Hand cream? Cream shortage? <laughs> oh no. Ice cream is on is as a shortage. Does Rob just raw dog it? He raw dogs it. He doesn't need any lotions. <laughs> Shit. This might be going too far. I don't think <laughs> Mo has it. Rob doesn't use lotion. He prefers to grind his kids. Look, I don't want to get into the nitty gritty of it, all right? I don't think we need to go that deep into this conspiracy. <laughs> Ryan says he uses his tears. <laughs> but uh, he's not here. He's not here with us tonight. So put it together and I'll take you back. I'll take you back. Corey puts out the most over the top, faptastic art to ever hit Comics Gate. Rob disappears and all of Australia, all of a sudden, Australia is hit with. Uh, Gatorade shortage and a tissue shortage all at once. So why isn't Rob on a stream? Well, put it together, people. I'm not saying <laughs> he's uh, locked himself in a cave and is just going at it all day, every day, to the point where he looks like Christian Bale. From that movie. What is that movie? I've got a picture of him here. Is it The Machinist? Is this Rob? Is this what he, <laughs> is this what he looks like right now? Or uh, Donnie Wahlberg? 
What was that movie? Oh, Matthew McConaughey when he had AIDS. I can't I can't answer these questions. Uh D says it all seems pretty clear now. He's smashing it out like a champ. <laughs> Mo says when Rob comes back, he's gonna look like powder again. Yeah. SDA SDA says no Rob Pock. Well, this is an artist's impression of what Rob might look like in his current state. We don't know for sure. We have we don't have anyone on the inside. Henry Bemis said it. I'm not going to read it out, but I mean, he's coming to the same conclusion that I've come to. Michael Dietscher, don't lose faith. Replicator 4 is coming. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. It's on its way. It's on its way. I um, mean, let's hold, let's hold faith that, uh, that he can he can pull through this um it's too it's the, the temptation is too high what Corey is drawing it's like these women have boobs the size of watermelons their art he like he puts the camera right up next to the arse he puts the women like spread eagle on the chair they don't sit on a chair like a like a dainty lady they're like legs open it's too much for rob it's it, it it's too much for a man like rob we know what he's like. All right. That's it. That's my um that's my report. So go forth and uh investigate. Hopefully, you know, he'll come back and I'll be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'll admit it. But I really think this is like probably the most likely thing that's happening here. So I says, I don't think Rob's having any problems pulling through. Mm, oh my god. SDA asks, where's Mandy? It's not it's not uh let's not complicate things here. This is a this is a one man job. <laughs> Skip says, sounds like Rob is the victim here. Shame, Corey. Shame. Yeah, that's a thing. Like Corey's like, I'm feeling bad. Like, what's going on with Rob? I'm like, Corey, what do you I mean, if I go back, I said to him, I almost scolded him. I said, what did you think is going to happen, Corey? I said, look what you drew, Corey. Do you think a man like Rob can resist such temptations? We'll be lucky if we ever hear from him again. <laughs> uh, That's what happened. This is CG. This is what we deal with every day. It's you can SDA says you can't have a gay time on you. You can, it's just hard. It's hard to have a gay time on your own. It's hard to you can do it. It's just harder, but you can do it. Bancroft is going to feel terrible, says Mo. If it turns out he Rob tried to pet the Crocs. Well, we'll see. He says he's coming back, but we'll see. He's probably not coming back onto this channel after this. Ah, <laughs> oh, all right. <clears throat> On to, um, have you heard of Perspective Gate? Hashtag Perspective Gate. It's real. It's out there. It's a real thing. I've been thrown. Uh, my feet are being held to the fire. That's what happens. I knew it. I knew that's what happens. As soon as you start doing art, on uh you know you put your, you put yourself out there people will come at you and they'll you know, you know everyone's a critic and that's fine you know you gotta you gotta be able to take that um try not to get too defensive it is impossible to get not a little bit offense uh, not offen defensive when someone comes at your art but uh, that's what happened to me last night uh, after the stream I was, uh, you know, had dinner. I went to sit down with Mel, and uh, I started seeing some tweets. People were not, people were not digging uh, what I what I'd done on the um, the big page, the the catacomb that I'd drawn. Awesome one said, "I found a twenty four seven channel called Perspective Drawing." I got called out. 
Apparently, I didn't know what five point perspective is. That's true. I didn't know it was called that. You all enlightened me. It's like that fishbowl effect. Well, now I know. I wasn't aware of it. I mean, I had a classical training in perspective. One point, two point, three point. I didn't, I wasn't aware it went up. I thought you just uh, like bent the lines if you want to go further. But anyway, I've been educated. Thanks to the uh, wonderful people over on Twitter. Here's Vicky. I normally refrain from criticizing people's art, but I just can't let this one go. The perspective is all wrong. The pillars in front should be at an angle and get straighter as they move back. I can only, I can only assume by that she means... Uh, because the pillars are so tall, there's an effect, even when things are perfectly straight, that you know they 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 uh they tip in. The ancient Greeks, I hear, would you know make their make their pillars taper so as to appear perfectly vertical. I thought that's what I th I think that's what she's saying there. Um Antoine says, I've heard it called curve linear perspective. I'm not ready to tackle that. That's like a whole nother thing. Like what Krager did on that piece. You remember he had like, it was like three levels. And you mentioned you cut a building in half and you just like get up close and you obviously need it to be a super wide angle lens so that the all the lines curve. As a, as a what a fisheye lens. Um, I hit back. I said the perspective is correct. It's drawn in one point perspective, so all vertical lines go straight up and down. I don't know if I want need to. Do I need to break out a uh, a file here? Let's do it. I mean, let's do it. Let's get into this. My honor is at stake here. My honor as a perspective drawer is at stake. Uh, so I'm going to, I am going to, I'm going to defend it. This is, this is perspective gate. Hopefully this will be, this is all uh, we need to say on the matter. This will be the definitive perspective gate video. Um, <clears throat> all right. So one point perspective. What is it? Let's do it. A ruler mask. Okay. Create a perspective ruler. I'll create a one point perspective ruler. Here we go. Uh, all right, you can see there's this is the horizon line. I just want to make sure everything's drawing. Uh, this is the vanishing point here, this little guy. Now these lines here are the I, mean, I can't remember, I don't know what they're called exactly, but every point that you start on ends back at the vanishing point. Yeah, like so. It doesn't matter where you come from. Aha! But see, I got caught there, except for vertical lines. All vertical lines are parallel to each other. All horizontal lines are equally parallel to each other. Look what I'm drawing. I'm drawing the uh, the trench run in Star Wars. There you go. That's a use of one point perspective. Not even centered, says SCA. That is one of the criticisms I've gotten. Uh. That's one point perspective. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to understand. Uh, what about two point perspective? You get a little bit trickier. You again have your horizon line. There it is. Hold on a sec. There we go. All of your vertical and horizontal lines, uh, all your vertical lines are parallel as well, except now look what's going on these lines go back towards two vanishing points okay now look what happens if i draw a box underneath the horizon line like so you see the top of the box yeah if i draw a box that it doesn't even have to go much like it just go right here you will never see the top of that box as long as it yeah you'll never see the top of that box ever um, and that's obviously exaggerated if you get the higher you go up. 
right? You can only see the top of a box when it's under sitting under the horizon line. All right. That's where we're at. That's that's two point perspective. That. And then I mean, I'm just using the uh the rulers in in Clip Studio Paint. If you want to go more than this, you want to start doing that. What was that curve linear? That uh that that Antoine brought up. Uh, that's not available, as far as I know, in as a, as a guide in Clip Studio Paint. But uh, yeah, three point is is pretty much the same as two point, except now even your vertical lines. Look at that. Even your vertical lines are. Uh, I can't even figure out where I'm going here. There we go. Even your vertical lines have a have a tilt to them now, depending on where you put them. Okay. Anyway, uh, so this would you most likely you'd be doing three point perspective if you were looking down, like say on the top of buildings, or you're doing a worm's view, like you you put the camera right down on the ground, and you're looking up, uh, and then it would that now that's what I think is being described here in this tweet. That's what I think it is. Uh, however, I chose to draw this as a one point perspective one point perspective is a very regular um uh you know thing to to draw with in comics it's a you know i usually switch between one and two i like one it's creates like very dynamic almost symmetrical type um compositions they don't have to be symmetrical but they can be Uh, Sumo says, I get the feeling this isn't the first time Mel B has had to listen to this. You are correct. You are correct. Uh, well, Rob's here. He's here in the chat. He's asking, where is my wrench? Rob would know a thing or two about wrenching. <laughs> Rob, you missed a really exciting part of the show. Uh, Worms view like right down on the ground looking up. This is Bancroft's laces out moment. I'm just trying to nip this in the bud. Mo. This is important stuff. This is taken over comics gate, don't you know? Um So I said, "No, I think it's no, it's correct." Uh you know, I just was saying all the vertical lines go up and down. He says, "If that were the if that were the case, you'd see the top of the altar thing." Uh, that's not symmetrical and it would taper off towards the horizon. And I think what she means by that is that if I click on this, this line here, can you see that the top of this, the pit thing, you would see the top of it. Now that's incorrect. We know that because I just demonstrated anything that sits above the horizon line. Uh, you 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 can't see the top of it. It's impossible. You only can see the top of things under, like the floor, the top of these uh, steps and stuff. And it's okay. I thought, okay, well, there you go. I've answered that. I've answered that criticism as well. Your perspective is all wrong here. You should model it. She said I should model. I did model it, Vicky. It is modeled. What do you think? I'm some sort of big-brained architect. I modeled this out. I model most difficult things out. That's another that's another way I uh, know these things are correct. On top of the fact that I use that uh, the perspective rulers that we just looked at, I thought that was done and done. I did a very quick, I eyeballed, I should say, I eyeballed a very quick just sort of demonstration of where I roughly imagined the um it's you know, so like there's the horizon line here's the lines lining things up blah 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 that was a mistake apparently i was not i was not technically accurate enough with my lines uh, i should have gotten out the microscope i should have gotten out eclipse studio paint rulers really and i didn't because i was like i'm sending a tweet it's the morning before work. 
I don't really care that much. Uh, just here it is, okay? That was my mistake. My mistake. Uh, because Vicky took that and ran with that uh, as gospel. This fella here, he didn't like. He didn't like it as well. This is why I'm like, I'm not just like totally dismissing because you know, there's a couple of people who said this thing's wrong with it. When a couple of people say, "Hey, there's something going on," you should probably listen to them. Um, I just said the same thing. It's one point perspective. Vicky comes back and says, "I'm sorry, that's not how one point perspective works. You have you have two different horizon lines happening here." I don't know where my two horizon lines are. Um, that's it. She watched the stream last night. Thank you, Vicky. Uh, I was always happy to have people watch. Uh, you appeared boggled by the idea of five point perspective, but I'm sure you've, I see, I think I feeling, I'm feeling like now there's a bit of attitude coming in. I'm, I've been pretty courteous. I've just been saying, no, it's correct. This is this. This is what I did. It's correct. I wasn't antagonistic because it's very easy to get, defensive like i said uh but uh now i feel like she's throwing shade here and maybe i'm wrong a colonel moore comes in he agrees See, like you got a few people you get a few people coming in saying something's up all right you should probably look at it you should probably take a second look um and that's what i did now okay, vicky please don't judge off these red lines they quickly slept together in like 20 seconds so vicky comes back at me with a real grid and she's going to show me and she actually she actually uh nailed i thought she'd put the horizon line a bit too high she actually got it pretty pretty spot on um but she was showing me why it was all wrong nonetheless uh with her with her lines so now now i'm getting schooled by vicky on uh one point perspectives uh, how how all the horizon lines should intersect, uh, all the lines should intersect with the vanishing point on the horizon line, blah, blah, blah. That's what they do, Vicky. I don't know what's going on. I said, at this point, I'm like, what's happening? I don't know what's happening here. I said, they are. You, what are you nitpicking over, Vicky? And then she's, she's giving me a second one back again. And that's where I was like, all right, I think we've had enough here. So I think it's time to set the record straight, uh, go through. Vicky is a quantum perspectivist. This is what I'm saying. It's like, is, if, is there a single pixel that does not align perfectly uh, to Vicky's one-point perspective grid? You know, I should hang my head in shame. I have failed. Uh, but having said that, having said that, uh, Vic, Vicky was the only one. I, and the other guy was a bit, what the F is wrong with these things? All right, he doesn't know me. I get it. It's Twitter. You don't have to be. No you don't have to be nice. I get it. I don't know. I just. I just felt like Vicky came in with a little bit of unwarranted sass. I was just trying to explain what I was doing. Um. Uh, Jeremy says, "Yeah, pack it up. Give up your failure." Yeah, she. She admonished me. She's like, "You spent two weeks on this." How did she say that? She's like, I don't know, she said it somewhere. can't find it but she's like you spent two weeks on this what are you doing start again mm. is this woman slaining explaining says pork uh melanie b is taking over michael go mow the lawn <laughs> says jim cox uh, yeah there's she issues you should just give up on drawing entirely all right so this is what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna set the record straight because like apparently she does watch i can show her i can explain my uh my ways. I know I'm known as a draughtist, as something of a perfectionist, but I'm not actually really. I'm more of a close enough is good enough kind of guy. Maybe that's what uh, is happening here. Ugh. Sheev says, sounds like Vicky is negging Bancroft. I'm happily married. I don't think that's what's happening. I think she's just, she's passionate about perspective. And here I am to set the record straight. Uh, Pork Hunt for $2. How would Vicky cope with Todd McFarlane? 
Indeed. When I was drawing this thing originally, people were like, it's too stiff. You're using too many rulers. Why don't you open it up a bit and draw it freehand a bit more? Can you imagine? That's what I, I mean, I mix freehand with, uh, with the rulers. That's what I do. Cause I think, I think you do that. It does look, does get too stiff. If you just rely on the rulers, I do think that. So I'm going to show you here what's going on. Let me just move some things over. I don't like this view. There we go. Take that down. This is the piece in question. Uh, can you guys see those? Can you see that on the screen? This is the actual, these are the actual rulers that I use to draw this thing. You can, they're very, they're very hard to discern. Hold on a sec. What if I make that white? Uh, new panel, new layer. Uh, oh. Do anything? Right, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see it. It might be a little bit. I might need to um, take the take the pressure down. There we go. There we go. Now you can see it. Uh, Mo says that red coom is so disturbing. <laughs> if you if your coom is red, it's time to see your doctor like immediately. Don't wait. Go go uh, see. Go seek medical attention. Maybe Vicky wants to be the one who ghost draws the lucent instead of Mrs. B. Asmo. I don't think she does. I think she wants to be. Um, I think she wants to help. That's how I'm reading it. Antoine says these criticisms. These criticisms are asinine. Cartoonists are not architects. And don't need to make mathematically precise environments. Well, that's what we're about to find out. That's what we're about to see what the issue is. Uh, because here, this blue line, I can zoom in. It's very difficult to see. Uh, this blue, light blue line here is the horizon line. That's why I said Vicky actually had it a bit closer to how I had it with my very quick mock-up. I apologize, Vicky. I was a millimeter off on my eyeballed... 30 second rendition of where the horizon line was. Uh, this is the vanishing point here. You can see it. Uh, there's a red dot. And these are the lines here. Now let's have a look. Let's see what's going on. What's the problem? The problem is look. We can see it here. Look, this one here goes to the edge there, but it doesn't quite go to the edge here, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I did, in fact, I did, in fact, eyeball these freehand. I know. I know. That's that's on me. That's on me. It's not. It's not down to the millimeter. I mean, it's pretty close. It's pretty damn close. But uh, not to the millimeter. Uh, similarly, you got the same issue going on over the right. I mean, we're talking, once this thing is printed, we're talking one or two millimeters off. That again, um, I'm not a machine when I draw. I do, especially when I turn the old rulers off. I, uh, I have been known, my pen has been known to stray a millimeter or two. Uh, here or there it's happened uh as well uh, so if we bend this around now this should adhere to every perspective line let's have a look here over these ones here same sort of thing uh these, i'm looking at these pillars in the background sorry by the way same sort of thing there uh let's bend it round here we go the top of the stairs here they're not exact they're not exact. You got me. Even though I did draw these exactly, and then I later on went and used a really cool tool that you have on the um, on the iPad version, the whatever that is of Clip Studio Paint, 
where you can go in afterwards. That's exactly what I did here. You go in afterwards and you can like morph, mesh transform these lines because I wanted them to look like they were really old and they've been walked on over like thousands of years. Uh, so yeah, they're, you know, their lines, they might be like, I don't know, half a millimeter off on some of them. You know, they're, they're a bit warped because they're supposed to look uh, a bit uneven. Hang on. Melanie B says, Billy has a point. Um, he says, the columns in the Parthenon built by the Greeks are not the same size either. How dare you, Billy? How dare you? Mortal V says, wait, are you saying Vicky Verse was giving a shit earlier? Michael, is this another Vicky? I think it's Vicky Verse. I mean, that's her name, isn't it? I don't know. Michael Deacher says, centuries of coon traffic. Exactly. I even put like a, I don't know if you can make it out here. There's like a, I warped a, like a dip horizontally on this. Uh, so, because that's where like most people would have walked up and down. If you go ever go and see really old steps, you'll see that. Um, they like, they dip down in the middle. Um, now that's that. Hold on a sec. Now, where are the real issues? Why isn't it letting me select it? Why is it doing to this to me? Oh, they're over here. Why are they over here? That's weird. All right. Uh, you know, these, what are these lantern torch things again? I'm guilty. I eyeballed them. I eyeballed them. I apologize. I didn't get out the protractor. I didn't get out the binoculars. I didn't get out the... I didn't do my mathematical equations. Uh, they're pretty close. I mean, some of them are closer than others. This this front one's a bit off. The thing about, the thing about one point perspective is the closer it gets to the camera, the more it skews yeah like the closer something gets to the camera the more it expands because naturally things don't just go up and down uh you know into infinity that's just like how we perceive things that's what one point perspective is supposed to be is like a, a representation of how we perceive things but as it gets closer to the camera things get distorted so i eyeballed it it looks fine it doesn't throw anyone off. I mean, they're all lined up at the bottom. You can see that there, lined up at the bottom. Some are a bit off at the top. Uh, the big issue is some of these horizontal lines. I, I guys, I eyeballed them as well. I, I genuinely did. I really did. I I didn't even I didn't even bother measuring them. I I literally just eyeballed them. It's an old Aussie way of doing things. Uh, pork hunt for two says make the pillars Doric. I don't know. I'm sorry, pork. I don't know what that means. I'm uh, I'm I'm here exposing my lack of knowledge on many things tonight. So Henry Beamer says painted death hasn't even come out yet. I'm thinking of refunding. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm failing you guys. Uh, Jim Cox says Michael's binocular binoculars are for watching polyamorous ruse. You know it. <laughs> Mo says Bancroft's lines are as tight and flawless as the Rob Hawk. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't bother. I didn't bother measuring these horizontal lines as such. Yeah. That's probably where they have the most gripe to give. I mean, most of them line up most, you can see most of them line up. Some of them like there, you can see a couple are off there. There's a millimeter there, half a mil there, you know? Uh, one of these is is actually worse than the others, and actually does warrant a bit of a fix. It's I think it's that is it that one there? It could be that, or it could be this one. Oh, that one seems not too bad. It's that one. Look at that there. Can you see that? That's way too high. You got me. I stand corrected. Everyone on Twitter. That that is outside the uh, what is it? The um, what is it? Margin of error. That does rest outside the margin of error. How embarrassing. 
Uh, Mo says, Joe would have been caught, caught this embarrassing blunder in editing. I know, right? I don't know how I'm going to live. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to walk around Comicsgate with my head held high after this. Uh, Noren Rad, who is a member, a super bogan, says, I'm actually learning about perspective tonight. Thanks for the rundown. Well, uh, thank I, I'm, I'm thinking that I, I can sacrifice myself like this so that everyone out there can learn what not to do. Uh, make sure you are precise with your drawings. Otherwise, they're going to they're gonna get you. They're going to get you. Now, you can see. Uh, let's look at these lines here. All line up there. Similarly. Uh, you know, this meeting point here lines up with this meeting point there and that meeting point there. Uh, irrelevant. Absolutely irrelevant, as it were. Melanie B says, at least one person was interested. <laughs> uh, if you think this is riveting, wait until I start flatting it again. Hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. If I go back to the tweet, there were some other criticisms. I don't want to ignore criticisms. I don't want to be that guy. Um, because they didn't stop there. <sighs> Where are they? Where are they? I accused Vicky of nitpicking. Damn it. Where is this tweet? Oh, is it in the other one? All right. Here it is. Okay. Uh, oh, no, that's not it. Where the hell is it? Damn you, Twitter. No, she says, like, there's a, there's a gaping hole somewhere. Damn it. Damn it. Do I have to go through my notifications? Do I have to force you all to sit through while I go through my notifications? Why is everything difficult? I thought I'd found it. I thought I had everything lined up for you guys. I apologize. I'm just messing up yet again. I'm, I'm failing you yet again. Hold on a sec. Let me, let me stop sh sharing this. Talk amongst yourselves. I won't be long. I just need to I just need to scroll through my uh, notifications for a criticism of my art, which I shall answer, and we'll we'll investigate together. I think she might could be right. She could be right. Uh, Bancroft says uh, Mo says Bancroft. She didn't point out a gaping hole. You have intertwined this traumatic memory with that of the feral bush pig. <laughs> Uh, mm. Sumo says, uh, Bancroft saw a gaping hole and immediately drew his attention. Mel does not want to sit through that. Skip says, I have a criticism. Have you read my skip? No, Skip. Actually, I have an answer. I have my favorite answer for you, Skip. The question is and remains and shall forever remain, have I read uh, Skip's script? And the answer is, and forever shall be, oh, where the hell is it now? Why can I never find anything? Why is everything so... God damn it. It was here yesterday. It was here yesterday, and now it isn't. And now the joke is ruined. I love listening to this too. Yeah, oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, here it is. I'm just blind. Skip Edwards. We are never, ever, ever getting back to you. That was worth it. <laughs> Your time isn't precious. You can just sit here and watch me scroll through videos. Uh, D has gifted five memberships. Thank you so much, man. That is awesome. You are my superhero. KSS, grab one. Mel, grab Mel. Although Jim Cox says it's automatic. So can you guys let me know if it happened automatically or if you had to grab them? 
Uh, Anonymity T2 got one. Linkovich, Chomosky, and Shane Harrigan. Congratulations. Thank you so much, D. You are a legend. Pork Hunt says, Michael, you can never find anything because your perspective is wrong. Uh, Rob agrees that the stream is so entertaining without me. Thank you, Rob. I hope you're better. I hope you feel better. All right. Mo. That was worse than the Star Trek stream. <laughs> Maybe. All right. I'll give. I'll take that. Um, all right. Here we go. Not only that, you've got straight lines where the blocks meet that should be curved. Uh, that is probably talking about, uh, you know, these lines here on the, on the pillars. Uh, so under the horizon line, they should curve down a little bit. That curve should increase as it goes down uh, at the horizon line and above. It should be flattish because it's flat like the horizon. I think I've got that pretty, pretty well. And then as you go up, you get a slight curve until you get like, this is the highest curve you're going to get. I mean, maybe again, I eyeballed these, I eyeballed them. I didn't get out my French curves. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't dust off the old calculus book, figure out the parabolic uh, curvature of the column things. I did have a reference though. You saw this on a stream. It was a couple of weeks ago. I actually made these pillars in a 3d program with the uh, cuneiform curved around it. Steve Wester says, start over. That would, that would be painful. Lethal Diva says, be careful about talking about gaping holes with Rob in the chat. We don't want him going off on another bender. You are correct, Lethal Diva. We've just gotten him back. He seems, at least, he seems to be, he seems to be able to type sentences. They're not long sentences. But, you know, he's stringing a couple of words together. So that's this is a positive sign. We might get him back. We just have to be careful with what we put in front of him going forward. Henry Beamer says, I appreciate that just winged approach to perspective. Look, sometimes you've just got to wing it. I think it's pretty close. I think it's, I think it's pretty close. I think, I think that criticism is nitpicking. Uh, Vicky, that's what I think. Um, straight rows of cuneiform that should have been warped to follow the curve of the pillars. All right, now this is bogus. This is utterly bogus. Vicky, if you saw the stream where I had Phil Diaz on, I called it my fakest draw stream ever. It was much like this one. This is actually a draw stream. We're an hour in, I haven't done anything. This could be the new fakest draw stream. Uh, you would have seen that I actually literally built these in a 3D program with the cuneiform wrapping around it. That's just what it looks like. I'm sorry if it doesn't meet your exacting standards, but when you've got tiny little dots wrapping around a cylinder, all that really happens to them is they just get a little bit squashed, a little bit. It's practically imperceptible. You can see the curvature better as you as you go up because the uh, the effect is more pronounced. But uh, it is what it is. Mo says he started out with a very minor artistic error. He's now a very min minor. He now has a very min minor artistic error and the most boring stream in the history of humanity. I think we're going great. I think we're going great, Mo. Mel says, oh, Vicky hates your guts, Coom firmed. There's only a couple more points to go, Mo. I'm just answering the... I was going back and forth on Twitter and I could tell Vicky was getting agitated. I could I could sense... Uh, I could sense a bit of venom in her grammar. So I just thought, I'm going to do it live and just, I'm going to explain myself. For all of you, for the benefit of all of you, 
Uh, inconsistency in the ribs for the archers. Um, again, that's what they look like, Vicky. I don't know what to say. That's what they look like. That's what it is. Uh, they are modeled. So I don't know what I don't know what else to tell you. That's what they look like. And um, lastly, oh, the gaping hole on the right of this thing here. She's talking about this here. She's talking about the fact that the whole composition is not 100% perfectly symmetrical. To which I answer, doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be. You can do one point perspective. You can put your vanishing point off to the corner. You could put it anywhere you want on that horizon line. Doesn't have to be perfectly centered. And this one isn't. In fact, I don't like to make things perfectly centered. Uh, I think it looks off when it's everything's like perfectly aligned. I think it's more natural. And you see this in movies all the time. Go look at symmetrical things, even the great uh, Wes Anderson, his famously symmetrical compositions. They're not perfectly symmetrical. That's just what it is. That's what it is. So there you go. Hi, Mike. Just curious on the 3D model reference you had, uh, what was the camera uh, lens angle? I think it was at about, uh, I'm just going to say 30, maybe 25. It's pretty wide. It's uh, it's pretty wide. I What I did is I had it set it as a wide angle lens, but then I cropped in like my thing. I, I zoomed in. So that's what it is. And now with that out of the way, that's per hashtag perspective gate. I wonder if I'll get a clap back from Vicky tomorrow pointing out all the inaccuracies that I've displayed here tonight. Uh, if I do, I'll just meet them with the same uh, gentlemanly uh, nonchalance that I always do. Your focal length. I'm talking about like um, camera, you know, you know, you got like you zoom in. If you have a really high like zoom lens, uh, you know, it's a really high number. If, if you have a fisheye lens, it's a really low number, like 14 or something. I usually set mine at a, somewhere between 50 and 25 usually. All right. Now. Now that's out of the way. Did Mo fall asleep? He's still here. Perspective Gate ended with Bancroft doing a deep dive into a gaping hole. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too accurate. He's it's getting too close to home. Shit. All right. Hold on a sec. Let me drink my tea, hang out with you for a second, and then I'll get to flatting. The second most exciting thing on this stream tonight. Uh, Zed says, errors do matter. It's just Vicky is making out to be like it's the infamous Batgirl bathroom. Yeah, I'll fix the um, that one horizontal line that is too high. That's true. That stuff happens. But uh, I think it was I think it was pretty close. It's like close enough is good enough. You know, I think it, it doesn't look off to me anyway. Uh, you're scared. You scared. Jody says winging it on perspective with digital seems strange. I imagine it's a bit too mechanical a process to have it work out smoothly. You can't wing it 100%. What I usually do is I'll, I'll do the, I'll either draw the line first with the ruler. I'll either go over it freehand or I'll just use them as guides and, or, and then I'll morph them or something like that. Uh, that's usually what I do. Because it can look really stiff. Another thing that I'll do is, you know, with my straight lines, I like just go over them with an eraser and just sort of erase parts of them, chop them up a little bit. Otherwise, it can look like, you know, when people they take th they take three D sketch up things. You see this in manga a lot. They'll take a sketch up, and they'll just hit a button, and it says like line art, and it'll just outline the three D thing, and they'll put that into their comic, and. Uh, 
it looks really like a 3D model. There's no artistry to it. And I've got nothing against, you know, using 3D models. I'm all for it, actually. It saves a lot of time. Simply Green says, more importantly, does anyone care where Rob is? Um, some of us do. I don't want him to just die in a cave alone, surrounded by Corey Barton pictures. I think he's I think he's earned a more dignified death than that. The Voyager can't accept gifted subs because I have a brand account. Gifted memberships? Mm. Or subs. I'm not sure. Nolan Lockhart says, I bet Rod doesn't have these issues with the gaping holes. No comment. No comment. Uh, Bronze Age says, too perfect can even be more distracting than small imperfections. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Antoine says, stop saying winging it. Uh, B-Rose is getting peckish. That tea was very cold. Uh, but that's okay. <clears throat> I need I need to have something to drink. You can probably hear, I know my voice is still crackling a little bit. All right, so we're going to get rid of this, and we are going to get back to, do I want to do it in, I'm not really, I much prefer actually uh, working in Photoshop when I color, so I'm going to save this as a Photoshop file, and I'll switch over to Photoshop and do it over there. All righty. What's it doing now? It's being difficult again. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yes, save it. Thank you. <clears throat> Opening Photoshop. Hold on. Skip says, I just hope Rob misses Rob Teenth. Also, when is... I, I I said, Rob, we should do Rob Teenth. He didn't seem very keen. He didn't seem like he wanted to. Mo says, Rob Teenth was cancelled this year after Rob's number one Reaper Destroyer backer shenanigans. I didn't know that. Yeah, I mentioned it to him, and he was like, eh, don't really want to. It's like, I don't know, maybe he likes it. Maybe he likes all the um, the slings and arrows. He likes being a punching bag. I'm not going to hold it against him, but a bit odd. Or he's being punished. He keeps asking me where his wrench is. Should I give him back his wrench? I don't know if I should. It feels like I shouldn't. Um. Uh, when do I expect to be finished this? I'm excited to reading it. Um, I wish I could answer that question, Zed. Uh, I can't. I, I literally don't know. Um, all I can tell you is I'm working hours and hours and hours on it every day. Uh, I'm doing these streams to keep people, to keep it in people's minds. Um, you know, I have an idea of when I'm going to launch it based on how far along it is. Uh, but, um, yeah, I wish, I wish I could answer that question. That's all I can say. Uh, Anton says one nitpicky thing did occur to me. The cuneiform should become increasingly more vague as the pillars recede into the background. I think they do. I mean, I could have, maybe I could have spent more effort on that. I don't know. Uh, they, they, they start off quite small as it is. So here at the front, closest, you can quite make it out. This pillar, you can make it out. There's that effect I'm talking about. You can see, I mean, it, it, this is cuneiform. Like, it's hard to portray it, but, um, you know, by the time you get to the back, it's just sort of like little dotty versions of it. Uh, a lot of that will be ex obscured, though, in the colors. So that, I mean, that's a... If someone had come to me and said, you know, there's no, there's not much depth or volume in this, I would say, yeah, I know. I haven't colored it yet. 
that's how I do. Like I just like mostly my line art is the is the shape, and then I uh, I put in depth and form and all that sort of stuff. Um, with the colors. So that's the sort of where I'm thinking. Bancroft, you don't rob, you don't wrench creators. Says Mo reminds Mo Biggs. Reminds me, Rob was grandfathered in, but when he lost his wrench, he lost that. You have a point. You have a point. Um, Model V said, I thought you did streams because you were lonely because you can't play poker in the pandemic and you love us. I do love you. And I do enjoy streaming. I, I, I love hanging out with you. That's true. That is true. KSS says, I don't believe your cuneiform was accurate for the pillars. Takes me right out of the story to do better. Well, we'll see how they look. We'll see how they look in the final wash up. We'll see if you still feel the same way. I mean, it all comes down to Joe. There's lots of things that I do need to fix. I, I know that. Uh, but Joe's really the one who makes that final call. He's the one who says, no one's going to notice that, you know, or that is not, that's not good. What the hell is happening here? All right, here we go. Has anyone got any other questions? Any other uh, important things? Oh, there's Rini's thing going on. If anyone wants to chat about that, about the printers. I know a little. I don't know much. You guys might know more than me. But uh, Ethan's sort of gone public with it. Bit of an ultimatum. I mean, what I do know is these guys have been stringing Rini on. Uh, for seven months and they can't print a book. I understand there's paper shortages, but loads of other people are getting, are getting their, uh, their books done, their books printed within a decent time frame. And it took, it took Groken forever, but he got it done. It's not like seven months. You know, that's, that's taken the pus as we like to say here. Voyager has become a super bogan. Thank you so much, Voyager. You're in. Thank you, my man. Uh, Bristol and Day says, are the printers being seen next Tuesdays or is this just a shit business? That is what we are waiting to see. I think the plan is to just sort of wait, um, you know, hang back for a week, see if they respond, see if it was, I mean, it's possible. It's possible it was just some kind of uh, miscommunication, you know? It doesn't seem likely to me, considering this happens all the time. But uh, why is my Photoshop is so slow? i got to close down some programs or something. It's like I do my brush and it doesn't, it doesn't want to work. Closing down all these programs. You finally made it, Voyager. I know, right? He's finally one of the super bogans. Taking the, taking the, it's, uh, you know, it's English talk. It's like when I watch Peaky Blinders. I, w I love watching Peaky Blinders because every time it's on, I say it's Peaky fucking Blinders. Like that. <laughs> I want to, I want to dress like the Peaky Blinders. I want to speak like the Peaky Blinders. I want to speak like I'm from Birmingham. I just think it's cool. Uh, yeah, so taking the puss. Oh, that also sounds like um, New Zealand accent as well. Pork Hunt says, a subsidiary of Scout Comics admitted on a stream that they are not printing a customer because they are Comicsgate. Is that rainy? That's what we're trying to ascertain. So they have a, they have a week before the shit hits the fan 
I can't imagine being so unprofessional. Like I can, I can, I can accept if someone says, we're not going to print your book because you're comics gate, but to take someone's money and say they're going to print it and they're not because they're comics gate. That's like, that's a whole nother level, but we don't know. We do know that they don't like comics gate, but you know, it's business. You know, you do, you do business with all sorts of people you don't like. That's just what you do. Dave says, just move over here for a few years and you can speak like a Peaky Blinder. Yeah, Bristolian Dave, he's, he knows all about it. He's in the thick of it. Um, I did love England when we when we visited, but we just visited. You know, like when you go somewhere, it's great to visit, but it might not necessarily be great to live. That's what a lot of people say about... <clears throat> uh, we only went to London. I would never live in London. I would, if I ever moved, I would move to somewhere quiet. Uh, Mel is having a discussion about how cold it is in Melbourne. It is incredibly cold. That is true. It's freezing. I don't know what is going on with my Photoshop. It's really annoying me. It's like, have I got smoothing on or something turn that all the way off uh but yeah you know we'll see if it does turn out that she's being screwed over because she's come out of cg i would not want to be them that i don't think that would turn out particularly well for them there's a lot of people who are quote unquote adjacent. Um, and if I were them, I would, you know, I would think twice. Oh, this company is taking, is like taking people's money. They're not giving them books or screwing them over uh, for political reasons. Even if you're, even if you're not CG, that's got to give you pause for, you know, what other political, what if you post that you're um, pro-choice? I don't know. What if you post your, uh, I mean, it could be anything. It could be anything these days. But yeah, again, this is all just, this is all just speculation. Uh, Jordan says, if they took her money and are refusing to provide the service or string her along, they can easily be sued. Well, that is the uh, that's the situation at hand, isn't it? That is that's the whole thing. It's not like um, like Comic Skate hasn't rallied rallied around uh, people before. Although I don't imagine, I mean, in the numbers we're talking here, are, you know, they're quite, um, you know, they're, they're not massive, a few thousand dollars. Uh, but it's more about the principle of it and the, you know, and e almost everyone who's printed books has a horror story. Almost everyone. I know I have, you know, I, I lost, I had to let go of thousands of dollars uh, you know, because of, incompetence and silliness you just had to sort of i guess i'm writing that off uh poor cunt said evius said there will be a crowdfund to take the cleaners if it's legit well that's the like yeah well we'll see you know we'll see but rainy's like rainy's a superstar now you know she has a she has a big following. She's about to launch her second book. Uh, she's got a lot of clout behind her now. She's got the backing of big people. She got muscle, is what I'm trying to say. It's just it's so silly if it is that. But you just look, you never know. I had printers do such like 
stupid stuff with me and it just boggles the mind that they will that they thought oh yeah that's just perfectly normal like um it printed one of my books the crackhead cut so wrong and then when i pointed it out to them they were like oh, it's just color variation that happens it's like this is wrong i've been printing stuff for 20 years i know when something is wrong and it didn't matter what evidence i provided they were just like no nah, it's it's fine and that was just one job that was like i don't know it was like a 500 dollar job or something that's just one job of many um <clears throat> there's some chats in here uh henry bemis says weren't 60 percent of Rini's books damaged from the get-go that's criminal 50 yeah they were she beat me. I, I thought I had the worst. So I had I had a hundred percent of mine on one run. There were a thousand books, but they were just like the 12 pages. So it was like a fifteen hundred dollar loss. Um, every single one of them in the bin. hundred percent And then for but my big run on Waking Dream, the graphic novel, you know, with the UV coding and everything, 50% had to go in the bin. And I'm just like, all right. You know, what can I do at that point? I mean, she's done a uh, she's done a damaged copy thing. Some people do that. I didn't really want to do that. Um, but yeah. <sighs> it's it's crazy. So it's not like this thing, there's no precedent for this. It does happen. Um but it's very weird. Seven months, like she's like, you know, months and months and just getting the run around again and again when they're off printing other books. It's very sus. Dave says, I don't understand the big deal though. You're literally putting ink on paper. That's it. No one even needs to know you printed anything. It's just stupid business. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense, but we live in clown world. So in clown world, uh, Remember, like, people would boycott, like, a band would boycott playing in Israel? They're like, we're not going to play in Israel until Israel recognizes Palestine. And everyone cheers. And say, follow us on tour. Our next stop is Shanghai. And then after that is Moscow, you know? <laughs> it's like, All right. Okay. You know, this is like, that's, it's clown, it's clown world. We live in clown world where this stuff makes sense to people. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that's what happened, that it is political discrimination. People are within their rights to not like Comicsgate and not want to work with Comicsgate. Um, I don't think they're within their rights to take on contracts and then not fulfill on those contracts. Uh, but it's dumb. I mean, Comicsgate makes a lot of money, really. $3 million this year, halfway through the year. Uh, you'd, if I was a comic book printing business, I would not want to be... Um, shutting them out of the market but you know what do i know i thought business was for making money but i could be wrong could be for other things um zed says the people that conspire or gloat hang on hang on oh I was way behind. Sorry. Let me catch up here. The people that conspire or gloat for cancel culture, it's like a religious experience to them. The victim has sinned and deserves it, so they cannot fathom uh, the reality it could happen to them. Yeah, it's the old communist thing. Um, Christopher says she's such a sweetheart too. Well, yeah, she is, but I wouldn't want to be on her bad side. She also has like a fire in her. Uh, like she looks like she's got a she's got a serious temper. Like don't f with her. <laughs> that's the, that's what I get from it. 
I could be wrong. Um, Mo says the most egregious error was they forgot to put crackhead cut on the cover. Now oh, that was my mistake, Mo. I'm sorry. I called it the unedited edition. I was trying to be clean and uh, proper. Um, Junk six 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 says Rini has been targeted as a heretic, heretic to lefties in the industry. She certainly has. Uh, Antoine says in the nineties, I'd a printer swap out the font for a magazine I designed and the copy was all over the place. They were shocked when we insisted that they reprint. Yeah, yeah, this is the thing. It's the same with developers. They're like, what's the difference? What's the problem? That's what they said to Rainey. They're like, even now, even now they say it's a tiny little machine imprint on the book, on the cover. It, uh, it doesn't diminish the reading experience and all the blah. It's like, uh, just you, you do not get to decide what uh, uh, diminishes the product for the end reader. That's Rini's job to decide that. So you're just like dismissing it as if you've never, as, like in the comic book printers, they know what comic book people are like. Uh, people do not want to get their books damaged before they even get a chance to damage it. Um, so, yeah. Bristolian Day says Mixum is the go to printer for CGUK with not had issues. Well, they're the ones I did have issues with. I lost 50% um, of my uh, print run to them. But, you know, the thing with Mixum is when you say Mixum UK, who are you talking about? What printer exactly? I clearly was within my job, my books went to two different printers that the broker deals with. And even though I'm super happy with the print job that I ended up with, 50% of them were damaged. So, yeah. And they get, they did give me a partial refund, but I ended up lose, still losing thousands of dollars on the whole ordeal. Um, Schneely says, standards in printing have gone down big time since the days I worked in the industry. A lot of it is just quality control and lack thereof. There's no quality control. They just do the work, get it out next in line. And that's sort of the issue with our jobs being small jobs, even ones where it's like you're printing thousands and thousands of books. That's still a small job for them. So we get the small job treatment. We need to unionize comrades. <laughs> Coming Mark's going to see that. He's going to love it. Uh, Val Schnitzel. It is a Bancroft. You're right. Val's, is it your girlfriend or your uh, wife? Thought I was handsome. I remembered that. You know that meme uh, of like a girl and she's she gets told she's pretty 10 times a day and she's rolling her eyes. And then you got the guy who's like smiling because 10 years ago, someone said they were handsome. I'll remember that comment for to the rest of my life. Uh, all right. Hang on a sec. Bronze Age says, Rini handled the a-hole creators at HeroCon. Great. She's CG to the bone. Yeah, people are ignoring her. It's so petty. It's like, I can't be seen speaking with you because then I'll be you know, it's like uh, it's like uh, communist Russia or the Nazi Germany. You know, we don't we can't be seen with with Untermenschen. It's a joke. Oh, Jawbreakers Forever is launching today for a dollar. Is it the digital only? Did we get confirmation on that? Is he selling a printed graphic novel for a dollar? Does anyone have confirmation on that? Isn't Mixum a print broker? Yes, it is. It is a print broker. Mix them, do not print anything themselves. Um, Anton says the quality had be better be particularly good. Yeah, the guy I go with uh, is fantastic. And he is, I mean, I can even go in there and watch things as they go to print. So, yeah, there's quality control up the wazoo. Uh, Dave says, damn, sucks about issues with Mixum. 
Yeah, look, it's the same with any printer. They're awesome until they're not. And everyone goes through that eventually. Like, no one is safe. Everyone gets there eventually. Like, Malin was singing Mix and Praises, Mix and US until he wasn't. Um, yeah. That's what happens. So, Henry BMS, either Zach is playing 4D chess or he's lost his mind. I don't know. We're going to find out. I mean, obviously, the whole thing about it is he wants to get tens of thousands of backers. Yeah. That's the goal. So, will it be a failure if he doesn't? Now, if he's, I don't, I don't see how it works if he's actually talking about printed books for a dollar. I don't see how that works unless it's like $1 plus $20 shipping or something. Because, yeah, even if you sold 20,000 books at a dollar, you got $20,000, but your print, let's say they're like nine, uh, let's say that you, 20,000, you can get a good deal. So let's say they're $5 a copy. What's that, 100,000? Yeah. So you got, you've raised $20,000 to get these things printed, but it's going to cost you $100,000 to print them. It won't cost that much, even if it costs 20,000. That's I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Uh Matt Kevlar Larock says, Did you copy and paste that language on the comms or did you make it up themselves? Um, so I took I took a series of flattened real cuneiform images you know, flatten them out. And then I wrapped them around a cylinder in a 3D program. And then I created the first sort of six columns doing that technique. So at least these six are different. And then after that, it's just so small. It's like, all right, copy and paste, you know. So just like copy and paste them back. And I and I did a technique where I, I didn't just shrink it. I actually like... um uh, degraded the quality of the the script so it was literally like you know dots and lines towards the back now that you're really going to be able to see it once it's printed and it's going to be tiny i mean what's the actual size of this once it's printed you know you don't want to see any of this um thank you mark he says it looks cool well done thank you uh yeah but back to zach i just i don't know i mean we'll see is he a mad genius or just mad? Mo Big says, you never know what Zach is thinking. It could be he's tired of industry people claiming uh, they outsold him because they sold more copies of a $5 book than his $25 book. Yeah, it could be. He does seem to get caught up in that stuff. Like he really cares about, he really cares about what other people are doing. That's sort of, I mean, what I gleam from him um but back in the day Mo, you'll remember this like back in the day he gave a very logical well-reasoned um explanation as to why lost souls had to be 25 dollars he then went through the breakdown and all that sort of stuff and uh, yeah, and obviously he convinced a lot of people. He convinced over ten thousand people that yeah, that was that was actually a reasonable price to pay. And anyone who's tried to crowdfund a book and get it printed that's over the length of a of around fifty pages, uh, I agree. Twenty five pages is actually very reasonable, especially if it's like a good looking book that's fully you know. The art's good, the colors are good, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, no, it's a very reasonable price. So a dollar, I mean, it's a deal. It's a steal. It's sale of the fucking century. There's a little uh, lock stock and two smoking barrels reference for you uh, English fellas out there. 
Is that lock stock or snatch? I can't remember. I haven't seen it in a while. Um, Ryo says, hang on. No, what am I looking at? What am I looking at? KSS says, I am the only one. I stand corrected. I think Zach is playing 40 checkers. Antoine says, Zach wants to be perceived as legit to the mainstream folks by their standards. Well, I do try not to, um, you know, get into the head of people. But it's not, you know, it, it, it doesn't go against what I know of him from the videos I've watched and the streams and everything and the history of, uh, you know, what he said. But uh, you just, you know, you never really know. Um, oh, here you go. Sis rest pricks. <laughs> I'll call you sis. I don't, know, I don't like that word because it reminds me of like cis white male. I'll call you rest. Maybe I'll just. I'll just say it's just works. That's probably best. Uh, when it comes to bot, your boy Zach, you just have to ask him directly. He will answer. I haven't been in contact with Zach directly since I think <laughs> the uh, the dark roast. I actually found that email the other day. I've still got the email with the link. It doesn't go anywhere, but I've got the email where he sent the link to uh, the dark roast. It's like I don't know, early twenty seventeen or something. Um, Bronze H says, any crowdfunding creator that cares about the mainstream really turns me off. Well, I look at the mainstream, I look, when I say mainstream, I just think what's popular. I hope that, uh, what we're doing can eventually become mainstream popular. Uh, but you know, not mainstream in the sense where you, you know, sell out and, uh, tow the party line according to whoever's in control of it now. The mainstream on our terms. Like, I'd love to see the Daily Wire, for example, go mainstream. And they, I think they're on their way. They've got, you know, they're going to get a million paying subscribers putting out documentaries, movies, TV shows. Uh, Rai says, depending on how much shipping is, I may pick up a few spares. That's the thing. See, I just don't know what it is. That's Rai saying that. I just don't know what it is. I think I... I find it difficult to believe that it'll be an actual physical comic that you can get for a dollar, but hey. Antoine says, I want to buy, I want to sell my book super cheap, but a dollar a book doesn't get me excited to buy. There's that thing where, <coughs> excuse me, Hagen Das uh, wanted to sell in Australia. They didn't have a presence here. They came here. And they've said, well, there's so much ice cream here. We're going to sell at their price. We're going to sell at the price uh, that everyone else sells their ice cream at. And no one bought it because I was like, we don't know what this is. So they, they left. They came back a couple of years later and they made it like triple the price of everything else. And everything was super slick and branded. And it became a big brand because people equated it with quality. You, you know, you might shoot yourself in the foot associating your book with a $1 comic. I don't know. Dongs is in the chat. He said, uh, last time I saw Zach was when I drove him from YouTube chats by asking that he say, hi, Comics Gate. Did he not say hi, Comics Gate? That would be weird. That would be weird. Now he don't leave his community board. I don't know. I mean, I I was I was getting back into watching his videos a few months back. They were getting good again, but um, I, I stopped. Mo says uh, Zach had a video the other day where he talked about all the trans creators in the mainstream comics, which actually had talent. He had mags as untalented. Forgetting his virtue signal of awarding Mag's best book of 2020. Did he really do that? Did he really give Mag's best book of 2020? That's um that's scandalous. Because I again I if he did, 
I'm sure he's thinking like the best book not produced in CG. You know what I'm saying? Like real book. And if that's the case, that's yeah, it's disappointing. So. Um, we got Clayton in the house. Uh, wow, that's a lot of skulls. I respect that commitment. Uh, again, I drew every single one of these skulls. Did I draw every single one of them individually? Are there no copied and pasted skulls? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make that. That com I'm not gonna commit to that statement. But thank you nonetheless. I will take it. I will take it. Um, all right. Uh, Sisters Ricks says, look at Carmen America. That's slowly on its way to becoming mainstream just because they managed to capture the Japanese audience. Did they really? A Carmen America getting Japanese readers? Because that would be pretty freaking huge. I did not know. I don't follow. I don't follow all that. Uh, Carmen America is not my sort of thing, so. And ever since that whole stuff with Tim came out, uh, yeah. Although, was he implicated? I don't know. I know Doug was, which is disappointing. Um, but yeah, that's how I see the mainstream as well. It's like the mainstream at one point was awesome. Legitimately awesome. In comics, in movies, in music, in lots of stuff. We just equate the mainstream now. When we say mainstream, we're talking about the mainstream as it is now infested and infected uh, and walking around in an, like a skin suit of previous achievements. Uh, it doesn't have to be that way. I would love to see you know, cyber frog toys on the shelf at uh, Walmart and, you know, video games and TV shows and all that sort of stuff. I've got nothing against that at all. Get rich. Fuck bitches, get money. Hashtag Comicsgate. Um, what have we got here? <laughs> Ryo says, I would hate to be a tattoo artist and do all those skulls on the skill. Yeah, there's no copying and pasting on a body. That is not available to you. That would be annoying. But I guess that's what you're getting paid for. So, I mean, that's your job. That's why I draw digital. Download a skull brush, says Dying Days. Bancroft's gum road today. <laughs> um, what else are you guys talking about? Got, we got about 12 minutes left before I give it up and go inside. Uh, Mo says, yes, he really did say that. It was when he was riding the wave of surrendering to Mark Wade. Oh, that was ages ago then. Yeah, I wasn't. That disappointed me as well. Not only because I didn't, I didn't care about the money, you know, I didn't care about the money. I just thought it was a real, like people were trying to spin it as though it wasn't a loss for CG. It was a loss. I'm talking about the, you know, letting go of the, or whatever happened. I don't think anyone knows, do they? What the settlement was? Because the, the court of public opinion was important in that case. That's when I sort of started going a bit cold. Uh, Dong says, to be honest, I'm pretty, oh, it skipped down on me. God damn it. I'm pretty sure mainstream comics would be bad, even if Mags and Vita Ayala stopped getting work. Well, I mean, yeah, whatever is, what is, whatever there is there now, they, yeah, that's sort of too far gone. It needs a complete and utter overhaul. And I don't think, I don't think it's on the cards. Like you can't just, 
as everyone's learning now coming out of these lockdowns and pandemic, you can't just stop everything, discard everyone and everything, and then just pick it up again years later and expect it to be like it was. Like they, they spent a decade or more driving away fans and just actually decades getting rid of the whole culture of people casually reading comic books to the point where the only people reading comics were diehards. You can't fix that by hiring good people. I mean, you'll be hiring great people and selling, you know, diminishing amounts. You, you've got to nurture that culture. Uh, and in the case of what we're doing here, we're trying to like rebuild that culture through YouTube and it's going to take a friggin' long time. But I mean, what other options do we have? I don't think there's any, not in the current climate. Um, Zed says, I've come to accept that all the stuff I grew up with is dead. Maybe in a few decades when it's all forgotten, public domain access. Someone that cares will bring it back. Well, that's going to have to be us. I mean, we can't just wait for other people to do that for us. We're going to have to do it ourselves. KSS regarding Tim Lim says, let's just say... Was Tim Lim in on it? He had an he did an hour long live stream to get ahead of the accusations. Does it prove guilt? No, but it certainly doesn't scream non involvement. It also could pertain to the fact that he's just like rallying, like putting a wall up to defend his friend. You know, it could be that like he's doing damage control to protect his friend. Uh, I don't know. I, I know nothing about Tim Lim. Nothing. I backed Trump Force years ago. I read, I got Soul Finder. That's my extent. That's the extent of my knowledge. I know nothing other than what people tell me on the internet. Uh, Camel has it right here. Just make new shit. Yeah, this is the thing. It's like, Everyone's got this idea now that things have to go on forever. That's a new idea that didn't exist back in the day. Like there was a time when Star Wars had ended. It was done. Remember we had 17 years of it. Star Wars was a quote unquote dead franchise. I'm not saying it wasn't making any money, but it wasn't like you were getting, you were going to get any new Star Wars movies. It was done. Now, if you wanted extra content, there were the books and everything. But, I mean, for all intents and purposes, it was over. Now it's like they have to keep stringing everything along. I mean, why? Can we not just lay Superman and Batman and Spider-Man to rest eventually? Are they going to keep going on forever? It's like, it's like that with everything now. You just make new stuff. What's Lethal Diva saying? Marvel and DC have two big outs that comics get really don't have at the moment. Uh, tell the comics around movies to sell to normies. I'm, I, I don't see us, like, I don't think we're, like, compete. I don't think we're, like, we're competing with Marvel and DC. I mean, amongst the hardcore CG base, sure, you've got people who are not buying Marvel and DC books anymore, but I, 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 I literally think we're just doing our own thing. It's, it's, I don't even kind of compare anything other than, I guess we're working in the same medium. It's, um, I never looked, I never saw as like, Conway Skate is going to take on, marvel and dc and replace them one day i don't 
The only way that's going to happen is if Marvel and DC fall on their own sword in their own way. And then, but even then, that doesn't necessarily mean people are going to go, oh, what's the alternative? Oh, I'll go check out Comics Gate. It's, I don't think it's going to work like that. We've got to build our own shit with our own stuff. Um, what did I think of Trump Space Force? Um, I, I don't like to be critical of other people's things on live streams. It, it was, it was a, it was a parody book about Trump as like a, you know, a hero. I guess it is what it is. It was what it was. I like the patch. I like some of the prints I got with it, but um, you know. That sort of stuff, it's like, it's throwaway stuff, you know, but I think he knew that, you know, there was a time and a place he capitalized on that and he got me to back it. What's going on? What's going on in the chat? People are having discussions, sparking interesting commentary. Making new stuff is why the manga industry is kicking ass and taking names. Exactly. Get these guys, these visionary creators working on a single book for 30 years. You know, just making these masterpieces that tell a story from beginning to end. And even if they don't end, like they, you know, can hand it over to someone else or something. I don't know. Like an ongoing story and it's new. Even if it's derivative, it's new. And all, and it's crazy too, like Chainsaw Man and, you know, all that sort of shit. Or, you know, you can, you can read, you know, the, the latest iteration of you know, Spider-Man struggling with his, I don't know, day-to-day -day life. I don't, I don't know. I like Spider-Man. I'm a big fan. I watched the new Spider-Man movie and I liked it. But diminishing returns. And it's not it's not anything to build anything off, I don't think. It's just like you milk it. That sort of stuff, you milk it until it goes dry. Until the well is fully tapped and literally no one cares anymore. That's all you can do with it. I mean, these, some of these characters will be getting... You know, over the next few decades, will be a hundred years old. Uh, Ryan says, "Bankrupt." The answer to where Rob has been can be found on Twitter. Can it? Is Rob out there? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, excellent. Excellent. Ryan, you have outdone yourself, my friend. <laughs> Does this qualify as harassment? Is this targeted harassment? Um, where is Rob tonight? Why are there tissue shortages in Australia? And here's Rob. Here's Rob's wrench, sorry, getting buried. Um, and it's me uh, looking accurately chubbified, healthy, big boned. What are you up to, Rob? And there's Rob coming out in a daze. He's like red eyed. Look at his arm. He's a lefty. <laughs> he says, I need to rehydrate. I love it. That is excellent. I'm going to retweet that. Spread the word. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done. Ryan Johnson. You make me proud. You make me proud. Uh, I'm going to think I'm going to end it there, guys. I think I have... What have we done? We uh, blew the lid open on... Uh, what is it? Fapgate. Uh, whatever, whatever's going on with Rob. Where is Rob? 
Bancroft's burying my wrench here. I um I answered my critics. I think I was fair. I think I was. I see. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to keep doing it on Twitter because I felt like Vicky was getting agitated, and I don't want to agitate critics. I do appreciate people who let me know that there are issues with my art. Issues. So hopefully, what I showed today will calm the waters. I. I'm not holding my breath, though. Antoine says, what happened to Rob was heart-wrenching. <laughs> Speaking of peaky blinders, peaky in blinders, uh, Commie Mark is in the chat. How you going, Commie? And can I just close out with a heartfelt uh, happy July 14th to my American friends. Uh, celebrate, celebrate your independence with aplomb and panache and lots of fireworks. Uh, I wish I could join you. Alas, uh, fireworks are illegal here, so we won't be doing that. Did I say 14th? <laughs> fourth. I know it's the fourth, all right? <sighs> That'll get clipped. Is July 14th something to do with French? There you go. That's my excuse. July 4th. I know it's the 4th. I'm just tired. All right. He totally said 14th. Wrong. I said the 4th. All right. It's time to end this charade. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. I probably won't stream to tomorrow unless Rob wants to, unless he's capable. We'll see. Uh, other than that, I will be back Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? No, I'll be back in a couple of days for the video game show. Late night with Comic Skate will be coming back. Uh, all that sort of fun stuff. Please do subscribe to the channel. Give the stream a like. Go sign up to Paint to Death. We're like literally 10 away uh, from 800 signups, which is crazy. Other than that, uh, I will leave it there. And I will... Uh... I'll see you all later. See you later, guys. Bye. This country... You gotta make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the woman. That's why you gotta make your own moves.